with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So today, we're going to jump straight into the topic. We're going to be talking about women's preference, you know, um, black women's preference. And we know it's not just black women, it's all women, um, because I have seen this. But since we're from the black community, we're going to focus on black women and we're going to touch it up with other women as well. So before we get into this live Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the content. So, a lot of guys will, you know, a lot of guys will feel bad about themselves because a lot of black women, a lot of black men or men in particular will feel bad about themselves because they got a nine to five. These men are waking up in the morning to, you know, get money the right way. They started off doing things the right way, you know what I'm saying? Um, and committed themselves to something that they had to have discipline for. You know, most men have to have, uh, 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 people people in general have to have some type of discipline to get up and, and go to work every day, you know. And a lot of, uh, and a lot of um, black men and other men in particular, you know, um, we be trying to holler at chicks because... You know, um, you know, we ain't really thinking no type of way. We just like, you know, oh, 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 she look cool. You know, um, I'm gonna try to holler at her and stuff like that. And then you tell her what type of job you got, or or you have a job in particular, and she says that, oh no, she's not interested in you no more, or she ghosts you. Um, guys, I'm, I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired of, you know, um, of you guys letting women, uh, ruin your, uh, a lot of these women are ruining guys, uh, ego, ruining their, uh, drive, you know, so a lot of guys be like, oh man, sure, sure, women don't, uh, 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 black women don't like, uh, guys who, who, who work nine to fives, you know, because this is what most black men are seeing every day. Most black men and most black people in this country, most of us live in black communities and there's other, and other black people live, you know, mixture. We we're mixed with other races and stuff like that. But, you know, you let the, you let these um, average women, you know, like Kevin Samuel said, average at best, ruin your drive, ruin what you have going on that's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good for you. It's good for you. It, it, it's going to be good for the, the seeds that you make in the future. You know, and it's going to be good for the woman that's good for you, you know, uh, uh, working and building yourself and stuff like that. But what I notice is, is that, you know, uh, most modern black women and other races of women as well, because I stay in a city that's, you know, predominantly majority white, but you got a lot of black people, uh, you got black people here too. You know, and I done seen it. I done seen where most of these women, instead of them getting with a guy who has a job and being faithful to him and stuff and 
being like, oh, I'm going to rock with you. We're going to build a gun and stuff. What they would do is they would go off and they would get the guys who are not working at all. I don't know why they do this. They go with they go and get it, get the guy who is homeless, the guy who has an alcohol issue, you know, Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, the guy who is actively gang banging, you know, and I see these guys every day. I'd be like, dang, every time I go pick up my truck out to work. I'm like, these dudes be out here every day and they be having thick white girls. They be having thick black girls, you know, and these dudes are the term dusty. You know, these dudes are the dudes who are not, do not have anything going on, you know. So what I came in terms of, uh, uh, what I have came in terms to is that most women will Turn down a guy who's trying to do good for himself, and they'll get with a a a a a, a Pookie or Ray Ray, you know, who ain't doing nothing. You know, they'll cut their family off for him. You know, they'll fight for him. You know, they'll fall in love. They're like, oh, I love me some Ray Ray, but the man who it's out here working, a black man out here working, you know, it's like you can't even get no, you, you can't even get an ounce of respect, you know, and, and the issue is, is that a lot of these chicks be saying, they come out and say, oh, we don't date broke man, yes you do, yes you do, oh, you got to make $200,000, you know, they make up all these numbers, this 150 K, this 200, $300,000. They make this up for the guys who was working a nine to five is who they deem undesirable, you know? So they come up with a number in their head. Like, I don't like you, you know, you're not Pookie, you're not Ray Ray, you know, you ain't going to smack me in my mouth. And, um, uh, 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 smoke weed around the kids and, and hang out and drink alcohol and come up with poor man schemes. But you have to make a certain amount of money if you want the time of day with me. You know, guys, this is absolutely don't go for this. Do not go for it. You know, a lot of times, you know, a, a lot of times, man, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to tuck them and, uh, tuck them and, and, and get some deep discipline, man, because a lot of women, they don't want the guy who's going to get it out the mud, you know, who's going to get it out the mud from working minimum wage to getting a promotion to building his credit to, uh, 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 owning a home. You know what I'm saying? To owning multiple homes, to having businesses and stuff. They, you know, they want you at the finish line. They like, okay, Pookie, you know, Pookie and Ray Ray, you know what I'm saying? I like these dudes, you know what I'm saying? Because cause women always like bad boys. They don't want no good dude. Most women always like bad men. Men is no good for them. You know, and, um, a lot of these women have skipped over men that they were supposed to marry. Talking about, oh, it ain't no good man out here. Uh, oh, yes, it is. You just decided that you wanted to do. Because a lot of women, especially black women and other women in particular, they got low self-esteem. So they will rather get a pookie who ain't going nowhere, you know, who will have to live with them, you know. So basically they're dating dudes who are lower than them because they feel like if they date you and you're working, 
and you get your stuff together, you're going to get enough money and, and, and you're going to do this and that. But the whole time, got the, the whole time, they was getting played from the jump, you know. And I'm not saying they getting played by other other uh, uh, men. A lot of times, a lot of these ladies be playing it themselves. It's just like with single women, you know. A lot of single women be saying, uh, you know, I'm not going to settle. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to. Uh, single mothers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of single a lot of these single women are not just single women, you know. A lot of the single women have sing uh 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 a lot of single women have children. You know. So they're like, I oh I ain't gonna settle. I ain't I ain't gonna settle. I can't settle. I won't do it. I'm not settling, you know, oh you know, I'm gonna raise all these high standards for you when a guy got to procreate in her. You know, Pookie got to procreate in her and didn't get put on child support. You know, she already knew that she already knew that Pookie wasn't gonna pay child support. You know, she knew Pookie wasn't gonna pay child support, so what she'll do is she'll go and get pregnant, pre-pregnant, by Pookie or Ray Ray, and then she'll come to you and let you smash, because she know you you the nine to five brother, you know, you the guy who been working and stuff like that. She'll go and uh, have sex with you, and then you know if you don't watch watch how you moving, she's gonna put this man's baby on you. So if you sign that birth certificate. You're going to be paying child support for Pookie's son or daughter. You know, um, you cannot, you know, I hate when women talk, talk about settling for uh, uh, single women settling, you know, and um, like really men are, are really settling for you. You know, talk about average man when well, you're average. You know, how are you going to be average and uh, talking about settling like when a lot of these ladies deserve to be with us working men? You know, a lot of these ladies deserve to be with the garbage man, deserve to be with the landscaping brother. You know what I'm saying? Deserve to be with who they're supposed to be with. Because high value man would not go for it. They're not going to go for it. They will have fun with it. They might have sex with it. But nine times out of ten, they will not marry it. You know, you got to think about it, guys. If you had a million dollars, if you was a multi-millionaire, and you had an opportunity to... Like, like, think about it. Most, most men who are making multi millions of dollars and can do and can do whatever they want to do, isn't that what all women say they want in a man? So all these women who's talking about, oh, you know, um, I got two kids and I'm looking for this guy making three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. If I made three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, and I had a selection of women. What makes you think I'm going to pick a woman with children? What makes you think, like, I'm going to pick a woman who, you know, got multiple baby fathers? What makes you think I'm going to I'm going to pick the woman to marry that's uh, 40 years old when I make two hundred thousand dollars, when I make three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year? No, we're not going to do that. Nine times out of ten, we're going to get the most freshest, the most beautifulest, the, 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 the most perfect, how you call them? Like It's like fruits, ripe. We're going to get the ripest fruit from the tree. And we're going to try to make that work. You know what I'm saying? Because 
we know that we're in high demand. You know, we can go out 